you mentioned that, but it, it, it made me think a little bit beyond. I think the proclamation was obviously appropriate, important, needed, and all those sorts of things, but uh, I'm a little confused about our city and why it's Indigenous Peoples Day slash Columbus Day. Columbus? I mean, he, he initiated a New World Genocide. That's what he did. And beginning with him and what he set in motion and what followed meant the annihilation of every indigenous person in Hispaniola, which was Haiti and the Dominican Republic today. That's what he did. He took slaves. Uh, he, he mutilated. He murdered. Uh, and we're going to they're going to say slash and honor him. Well, you know, I got to give the San Antonio Independent School District a little bit of credit because at least they added Indigenous Peoples Day along with it. And that's a step in the right direction. But what the hell is Alamo Heights thinking? It's Columbus Day. That's why they're off on Monday. You know, maybe there's something I'm missing and I'm ignorant. But it makes me feel like they're living in a phone booth and they're educating our kids. Columbus Day, and we're going to honor that. And it's, it's, it's no knock on Italian Americans. That's a silly argument. You know, it's, it's like saying we should be proud of Hitler because we're German. I mean, it makes no sense. It's about Columbus. It's not about Italian Americans. And so there are a lot of states that have come out and scratched the Columbus Day and made it uh, Indigenous Peoples Day. But in our city, are we we're that backward? That we have school districts that do that? I'm amazed. Just amazed. 